Medic Muckluck here, and if you thought Cairn was easy, wait until you try River of Souls, which is literally taking a walk. This is the second boss of Wing 5. Now let's get to the point. The goal of River of Souls is to get this lady to the other end of this long, windy pathway that dead people like to loiter on, clearly inspired by Dragon Ball. Enemies you will encounter. Bombers that run to Desmina and go boom. Innervators that will disable Desmina. Spirit Hordes, basically pocket raptors. Spatial Rifts, which pull at you. They require 10 hits to kill. There are multiple ways to handle this fight. Here is the most common. Two to three people stay with Desmina. One healer minimum Aegis can be useful to block the bombs from hitting her. Swiftness and super speed on her speeds up this event dramatically. Rest of the group run ahead. They will need at least one healer as well since they won't be within Desmina's shield. The group in the lead will clear out the innervators so that they never get a chance to disable Desmina. The group escorting her will ignore the spatial rifts, just don't let them pull you off the road. Aegis the bombers or heal her after the boom. When you get the small circles, drop it behind her. In the path of the pocket raptor ghost, it can kill them for you. Dodge the obvious firewalls. If you happen to die but are still on the river, you can waka waka some of the orbs to get back up. Don't die repeatedly. Now you know a boss fight in record time. You're welcome. Click these links. Especially that one. I have two channels.